Hey guys, I'm going to give you a behind the scenes tour of our solar decathlon project. If you're not sure what that is, it's basically an international competition with college teams where you build a house that is net zero and then you compete with those other teams. Um, so it's really cool and this is going to be our main studio. You can see whiteboards with all sorts of uh, schematics, cross sections, due dates, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and here you can see the studio is very, very busy, littered with uh, not only students but posters, projects little models of houses, um, little representations of different elements of the house, so a lot of work has been done here. This has been our command, the HQ, uh, for a long time. A lot of students have touched this project, and over here we have all the posters kind of ringing the sides, and this kind of shows early development of the house going through stages, and in each step of the house we added something new to it, took something out of it, and just played around with ideas. I was on, I'm a engineering team lead, and I was on as an assistant to try and, at least in the beginning, infuse a sense of engineering uh, efficiency into it, but with each iteration of the house we'd pick and choose elements that we liked, and just you know merge ideas and continue to trim the fat until we get a final product and that's where we stand right now we're going into construction soon this is going to be the finalized product uh, of the house where now you can start to see a lot more of the detailing going on uh, finessing a lot of elements like the shading screen and all sorts of stuff stuff like that picking and choosing the color scheme a lot of work and I have to give a big shout out to all the people who have worked on this project huge amount of work has gone into this um, so let's go over the plan so you're limited to a thousand square feet this is the floor plan for our house. Yellow is going to be the active mechanical core. Left is the mechanical room. Center is the bathroom. Right is the kitchen with an island. And then slotted onto that are going to be two passive wings here highlighted in blue. The south is going to be the living room with a table uh, and a basically a TV area. And the north is going to be the bedroom with a private office with a fold out. Um, couch I, or bed I believe and now this is gonna be a view from the northeast looking down at the house you can see the entrance here the center core the architects have done a really good job of you know kind of integrate it making it look like it's a, a, a monolith sticking out of the house and then you can see the passive elements attached to it a lot of shading features going on there so it's looking very cool and another shout out to the people who do these renders they're beautiful southeast corner you can see what's going on this is the south so the sun is shining through here so this is where you want to experience the outdoors you have the bifacial room right there which we're going to go actually and zoom in on this a little closer um, and this is an area where you can move from the inside you can see on the left to the outside the bifacial panels on the side are solar panels that not only collect light and uh, produce electricity um, but they also provide shading for a comfortable outdoor experience so dual purpose Next we turn left and we hang to look inside the house and now you can see what the kitchen looks like with the island um, and we wanted this to be facing the outdoors so you have this little um, place here where you can do sort of carry out meals and bring that to the outside with you so in you know interplay between the indoor and outdoor. Here we're looking to the east side of the living room just a little table and over there in the corner is going to be the entrance behind that silhouette character um, again lots of lighting elements all over the place windows put in uh, very you know key locations and this is looking back on this side and you can just see how that big window to the left does make this 1000 square foot space look much much larger and now this is the view you have if you're sitting on the stool in the kitchen just looking out into the environment so the architects have done a great job of making it look very appealing and of course the engineers have to be working behind the scenes to make sure that all these big windows don't you know overheat the house and all sorts of stuff like that uh, this is looking into the relatively small bathroom. You can see the tiling on the side of the, the bathroom kind of is supposed to mirror the passive elements outside the house. And now looking back this way, we're going to actually look up a little bit. You can see some of the clerestory windows up there that are meant to bring in some natural lighting into the bathroom, which would otherwise be isolated with no access to daylight. So we have, you know, some ways to have uh, mitigation of active lighting. This is going to be the sort of the more private area where the bedroom is and looking on the east side you actually have a little desk we're thinking of having like a fold out uh, bed there and then looking to the left you're gonna see actually the master bed and then a bunch of closets you can have and then over on the left is actually gonna be the second door sort of the private uh, bedroom door that allows you to go into the outside so really cool stuff uh, now I wanted to show you kind of the basic concept of the house so the house as I said is broken up into three main parts the passive wings on these sides so this is gonna be the living room block the central mechanical core which is active and it's actually split into two parts so you could take that off for construction and then over on the right this is going to be the bedroom so the advantage of this is all you really need is the main core that has your plumbing electricity air conditioning all that stuff all the expensive stuff comes in there it's pre-plumbed pre-installed everything you need is in there and then you slide on the passive element so it's very easy for construction the mechanical room is situated over here on the west wing so from here you then send your pipes and your air conditioning, so air conditioning is going to mostly be situated up here, it's going to run along the top of the mechanical bar and then it's going to come out at various locations. Um, 
so runs up through there and then when it's in here it'll kind of come service this passive block through here and then you have another air return or air supply that services this one uh, same thing goes on the other side you have the HVAC that travels once again through the top and then you can see once you link the house into here then it interfaces with this top bar and these are where you have registers which can then distribute or return air from the passive element so again everything is done through the central core so a very interesting take on this which is uh, has a lot of mechanical efficiencies now uh, we can go ahead and look a little bit more at what is going on so you don't just go up you also go down so for example the plumbing is actually gonna go from the mechanical roof under it's gonna basically go from here down under the floorboards come up service the bathroom continue on and service the kitchen so very linear you don't want very many turns so you minimize the losses in your piping so again very efficient and then this whole thing you put on a flatbed truck and you ship and there you go that's your site um, I just wanted to show you a little bit of the top what it looks like with the HVAC that comes drops down into the various sections uh, and again this is gonna be split into two parts with just HVAC connected there and then you just have flex duct work that drops down into the various sections. So very, very modular and serviceable. It's easy to construct and ship. So uh, that, that was the whole idea of the house um, because obviously we have to assemble this. Uh, another cool thing about the active core in the center is these passive elements, they don't really need anything. They just need to be able to interface with the center. So you can switch them around to adapt to different conditions. However you want to put your house, uh, you can adapt it as long as it's connected to the main core. It's almost like powering up your elements on a power strip. Um, so that was one of the cool things with this design. All you need is the central active core and then the passive elements, you kind of switch them around. You could do whatever you wanted. Our particular design is suited for central California. And this is going to be another really, really in-depth modeling of the house that the architects put together uh, it's all to scale so just breathtaking amounts of work put into this uh, you can see the panels on top of the house we have uh, PV bifacial panels like I said on the bifacial room and then you have uh, the main photovoltaic array up here a bunch of these and then over on the lesser left are solar thermal panels and now over here I just wanted to show you some of the cool architectural stuff you can see here as you move down you can start to see through the windows and take a look through those windows you you'll you'll see through the house and that is an architectural uh, trick that allows the house to you know appear larger than it is once you can see through the entire house you kind of bring the outdoors to the inside and it just looks larger a lot of natural lighting this is the main view you get uh, as the approach um, if you're a pedestrian here you'd come up this sort of little walkway and then you'd come and this is gonna be the main entrance so as you're moving up through here you can see that you get to start experiencing the house in all sorts of way a window over there in the deep you know side allows you to see what's on the uh, the other side of the house if you look on the right it sort of lets you glean a little bit of uh, insight into what's going on in the bedroom and then up top you can see some of the clerestory windows so from this approach you see all the different layers of the house which I thought was really cool from this side of the house you can see clear through the living room all the way to the bifacial room so again trying to just you know punch very smart holes into this envelope of the house uh, and here you can see through to the uh, the south side uh, the cladding that you're seeing around the structure of the house is a passive element to reduce the amount of sunlight that comes in so it shades the house, keeps it cool. That's a very important element to the house because we're judged on how much energy we use. So a lot of you know windows in the house to reduce the amount of energy used for lighting, but then also you know very smart use of passive elements to reduce the amount of sunlight that actually hits the house um, and you know reduce the cooling load. And here you can see a little bit of view of the main living room. Like I said, these doors could open up and you could start to interface with the outside. So doing everything we can to make the small space seem larger. So connecting it to the outside and bingo, you have a huge living room that's once again kind of shaded from the bifacials. A lot of plants um, in the vicinity. These could perhaps be, um, you know, uh, succulents, which use low water, which is what we're thinking of doing. But we could also, you know, perhaps use a, a garden here. So you're living off the land around your house. And now this is going to be uh, a view from the top of the house. We haven't used that many solar panels, just enough to provide 175 kilowatt hours. Uh, as you enter the house, you go through here, you pass through the main core, go to the, uh, the private room, and then you pass through the core again. So the architects did a great job with planning. Uh, you pass through the core multiple times. And here, again, another smart shading element. You pass through the core here, but the core itself provides shading to the master bedroom. So you have the glass that allows you to see out, but you don't get the sunlight that comes in. Also, the mechanical room that's in here, the door is also hidden away in the shade so it doesn't get overheated. So a lot of smart use. And here is where you see the, you know, you have the air conditioning ducts run through here, and then they would come and supply the passive uh, living room right through there. And same with that corner. You have the same thing going on, you know, HVAC coming through here and then it starts to service the private module back there um, so very cool design and as I said this top part can come off for construction 
Um, and then you also have plumbing lines that run under here and they'll go and uh, they'll service the, the bathroom. And then those lines actually as they come back we have a whole return system so as I said the core handles everything supply and return it houses both of those passive elements but the core is active it has everything you need electricity water HVAC so an all-in-one element and the yeah I'm just again showing um, sort of how it splays out with the HVAC lines but then also the plumbing can come back and it'll pass through the um, the underside of the house so imagine going under the house and it'll return back through here and that's, uh, I'm actually just indicating some of the HVAC uh, lines. This is the plumbing where it would come out. We have hidden pumps and tanks through there, which collect the water as it drains out the house. Then you kind of pump it through here and you have um, an aquaponics tank. And then you can actually drip the water through these lines. And so the gray water that comes out of your shower or washing machine or whatever, it can then pass through the plant life. And there you have an irrigated, um, you know, nice outdoor space uh, and ju it's just running off of your gray water uh, and potentially if you had more time to develop this system uh, you could actually make that water potable again so a lot of elements to make this house sort of um, stand on its own uh, not use much energy draw its energy from the sun and then actually the water that you're using California is in a drought if you didn't know right now so we're trying to reuse as much water as possible here I wanted to show a little bit of the the northern clerestory windows you can see into the house they're supposed to bring light into the central core um, so very very cool design and again I wanted to give a shout out to all the people right here who've made it uh, you know a possibility uh, it's a great project and I hope to bring you guys more videos let me know if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff there's a lot more I could show you particularly with construction anyways thanks so much for watching see you next time